to the virtual groom room. My name is Jack, your host, and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. And my choice of soap today is going to be pretty new. This is a newly released soap, and this is Neon Sun by Noble Otter. Um, again, have to call out the label. They do such a good job at this. I think they're probably some of the best in the business when it comes to labels, so kudos on this. It's cool. It's like a throwback, I think, like a throwback to the 80s and to the 90s. Really love the color scheme. Cool, creative, kind of as you would expect from Noble Otter. Big thumb up from me in terms of packaging as always. The scent on this, um, so I'll give you the notes up front and then I'll tell you what I get from it. This is lime, bergamot, oak moss, patchouli and musk. Now the scent to me, the way I would describe it, is it's not particularly bass heavy. And uh, what I mean by that is you're not getting quite a lot of those bass notes. Typically how you would uh, talk about the anatomy of a perfume, you've got, you know, top notes, mid notes, and bass notes. Here, in that makeup, you'd expect patchouli to be kind of on the bass. You'd expect musk probably to be on the bass as well. The way I would describe this is it's very soapy. Um, very soapy, almost quite powdery. I'd say the lime is the most prominent note you're getting, especially when you're considering kind of what the other notes are there to do. I think the other notes are there as fixatives. They're there to give the scent some oomph, and it has some oomph. Like it, I'd, I'd say probably in terms of scent strength, probably about a six, probably, which is pretty good for this type of scent. It's, it's present, it's very inoffensive. Um, I think anyone could wear this and pull it off. Like it's not particularly difficult to wear. You're not getting too much of the oak moss, which is typically a, a slightly green, kind of dated smell. You, you tend to get a lot of oak moss and really old fougeres. Um, in terms of, you know, prominence of oak moss anyway. The patchouli is there almost definitely as a fixative. That the musk, musk, um, it, I mean, if you think of the, the real musk, it's very animalic, but musk, as in the molecule, is typically added to add a degree of kind of like cleanness and it, it's definitely done that here. Bergamot lime obviously coming at the front is like a zingy citrus edge. It's a pleasant scent. I'll be honest with you, it doesn't particularly move me too much. Um, these these aren't my cup of tea most of the time. Like I don't dislike it because it's so easy to wear, but I can't say I love it either. Like they don't, they just don't do much for me and they never really have. But we're gonna shave with that today. I'm gonna to tell you if the scent opens up, it's really lather, and we'll go from there while I throw my glasses across the room. Let me wet the face, and I'll talk you through the gear as we use it. Um, got a good amount of proto lather to pop my face, as, as always, because I, you know, I load for like a minute, minute and a half sometimes. This was a 45 second load. The brush I'm using isn't particularly dense, so, well, it's not like, it's not like hand tied crazy dense. Yeah, tons of that lime up front. Um, like I said, it's pleasant, it's inoffensive. And I'm almost certain that's what Cody was going for here. And he, he hit the nail on the head in that regard. But it's just not, not particularly my thing, you know. Get a slather up. This is the Oku Sevilla. Um, this is a company out of California. Really like these brushes, really comfortable to hold. Really well made. This base, um, this V3 Noble Otter base, is a, it's just a workhorse for me. It's one of the most consistent bases I use on the regular. So the new format will be coming. I'm not particularly sure. I'm still trying to figure out the logistics of that. Quite how I want it to work. What I'm trying to gauge for the most part right now is if you guys like watching me lather. Because if you like watching me lather, that's not something I really want to cut out, you know? If you don't like watching me lather, then the format would be perfect. Because, you know, that's half of my video, <laughs> quite frankly. These, the brushes I have from Oku don't have the most like natural backbone, like this backbone there, but it's not like, I'm not struggling to spray the blush on my face by any means.
The scent is almost exactly as it was when I smelled it off the tub, so no, no particular change there. I'd say the scent strength is probably closer to mid, frankly. It's probably closer to five than it is six. Um, kind of like all of Noble Otter's scents. Not too strong. So. This base really comes together quite quickly in my experience. And you may be saying you've been lathering for like five minutes and you're saying it's coming together quickly. Yes. Yes, I am. But yeah. Not bad. Really nice soap. The, uh, the scent, it's nice. It's pleasurable. It's not a, uh, definitely not a challenge if you're scared of that. I know a lot of people are scared of patchouli. The patchouli is there really, really there as a base note. I really wouldn't pay too much attention to it. Most of what you get here is like a soapy lime, almost. And when I say soapy, like it, it's genuinely soapy. Think of like Mitchell's wolf fat with lime. This I love this soap base though. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> it's just very fun to lather. Very fun. Wow, look at that. Bit too peaky at the moment. Gonna add some more water. Just get that off there. Add it back to the brush. All I do is sprinkle water onto the kind of surface of the brush like this. It tends to add water kind of how I want it to add water. There we go. I think that's getting there. Yes, yeah, looking really nice now. Whoops. Great, okay. Draw on the mustache. Something I've noticed is quite a lot of volume in this lather. I won't call it particularly airy, but it's, I wouldn't say it's the densest lather by any means. It has good density, not like it's lacking in that department, but. It definitely has a higher structure feel than quite a lot of the modern, as a modern base is, from my experience. Not that, that it's particularly detrimental to performance whatsoever, just thought it's worth mentioning. Okay, let's dry this off because it's gonna drive me insane. My razor of choice today is the Carve Christopher Bradley. This is in titanium and this is the prototype. I still only have the B plate, which to be honest is probably a bit mild for me at this point. But it's it's a workhorse, it shaves really well. And inside that I have a first use Astro Green. Zero performance issues from the soap as you'd expect. It's funny because this B plate is just a mindless shave, in a good way. You don't need to think about what you're doing, where the razor is. You just kind of glide and it works. Do I notice its lack of efficiency sometimes? For sure. But like, I'm not really one of those guys that cares too much about how close it is at the end of the shave. My ultimate goal is comfort. Comfort and close. If I can get those two things, then I'm happy, you know. Really nice, kind of like in between. That fatty layer on the skin. Shows the quality of the shaving soap for me. Just gonna work that around a bit. Get this off here. 
It's a bit like a wally. Cool, that's the first pass done. Let's get the lather on for the second pass. Tons of it, as you can see. Let's actually scoop this up here. I'm gonna put it on the top of the brush. Just easy to spread that way. Just loads of it. And all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna sprinkle some water on it. Not that I thought it was underhydrated at all, but why not? For any of you that like kind of like cleaner, cleaner scents, just fresh, easy to easy to wear scents, I think you'll enjoy this one. For sure. It's very easy to wear, very fresh. Definitely summertime, which makes sense. If I, I don't think you'll be getting any complaints off of the wife about this, frankly. Or boyfriend or girlfriend, whatever your cup of tea is, but I don't think you'll be getting any complaints. It's just as I said, super inoffensive. Which is, you know, there's a ton of place for that, you know. Let's go uh, against the grain here. You know, those Astra Greens are probably some of the most consistent blades I use on the regular. I've had bad Pulse Silvers, not too many bad Gillette Nassets. So that is against the grain for me this way on my neck and this way on my neck and kind of up and diagonally on my face. This is such an easy razor to use, it's just funny. A little bit here still. I'm try and get that, but not push too hard. I'll do. Not there. I do notice a lack of efficiency. Oh, forgot the middle. With the B plate, the C plate is really kind of my jam. I prefer the C and D to the B, I think, but it gets the job done nonetheless. Let's get this lather on the face. As the shave is done, I actually do have the post shave for this product, so we'll talk about that as well. Any differences in the scent? Talk you through the gear. Clean the gear first though, and I'll see you for the post shave. See you soon. Hey guys, welcome back. Immediate post on this shaving soap is top, top notch. Very, very good. Kind of as I would expect from Noble Otter's stuff. The shave itself wasn't as close as the C plate gives me, but it's so comfortable and like so mindless, as I said, that I have kind of no problem with it for Every, every now and again when I need to get really close, which is, to be, fr to be frank, very rarely. Um, I'll use the C or the D, but that's a great shave nonetheless. Um, Post-shave product. And don't get used to this. Post-shave product. Neon Sun aftershave. I wanted to buy the aftershave for this because I knew it was a scent that was going to be, probably wasn't going to be perfect for me, you know. I try this sometimes, you know, why not. And sometimes the aftershave gives it a bit more oomph. 
makes me like it a bit more. So we're going to get some on here. This is Noble Otters Aftershave. I have a good amount of experience with this. Not too bad in terms of alcohol burn. The scent is almost exactly the same. This is a really high quality aftershave splash in my experience. Yes, it's alcohol based, which, you know, I prefer not to have, but overall as a package, it does exactly what it needs to. Nourishes your skin, heals any skin that's been affected, and has a really nice post shave feel. But yeah, that's the shave today, guys. Let me show you what I use today. Go over what I think, and uh, I'll let you go. Soap, Neon Sun by No Blotter. Um, again, pretty much a thumb up for me. It's not something I typically go for, quite frankly. Um, these like clean citrusy scents really aren't my cup of tea for the most part. I enjoy them now and again, but like for me to own a lot of them is just not really going to happen for the most part. It, my advice to you is if you like clean scents, clean citrusy scents, I would really highly recommend this. Um, it's well executed, as I would expect from Noble Otter, but as I said, not particularly my thing, and that's okay, we all have our own different preferences. No problems with the soap base whatsoever though. One of my favorite soap bases, one of the most consistent for me, Noble Otter, fantastic. My razor of choice today was the Carve Christopher Bradley in Titanium. This is the prototype. Um, he will be releasing the Titanium fairly soon, as far as I'm aware. Um, it's been on the cards for a while, and I think now is the time as far as what I've been told, but we'll see what happens there. My brush of choice was from Oku, and this is the Severe shape. This is in like an ivory sort of color, really nice. The knot on this is slightly jelly, not too jelly. The backbone isn't like too prominent, so people that don't like tons of backbone, I think they like how they set knots, but overall like I'm really happy with how it lathers, no problem at all. And our post shave was the matching Neon Sun Splash. Scent wasn't particularly different, which is Kind of a good thing like uh if this scent is so drastically different it means they've not put it into the soap properly or there's a lot of soap base that you smell and you're just not picking it up but yeah great shave overall hope you guys have enjoyed the video today if you're not around here and haven't yet subscribed please consider doing so i very much appreciate it apart from that my name is jack your host from the virtual grim room wherever you're on the world have a wonderful day and as always goodbye for now